Hi everybody, my name's Chris and welcome to Retro Ratchet. So for those of you familiar with my channel, you may recognise this very early Mark I Punto. I've done a review on it earlier in the year. So it's back with me following an MOT fail, so we're not doing another review on it or anything exciting like that on, you guessed it, welding. So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you what it failed on and how it was fixed. So I hope you find it interesting. Right, let's take a wee look under this carpet and see how bad the corrosion is and hopefully it's not like the floor and kit. Right, so there you go, you got a wee bit in there. Doesn't appear to have went up the sill, which is a positive, but it's sound deadening here that'll chip that back. And then I guess get it cleaned up and repaired. Let's have a wee look underneath, see what we're dealing with. So I've removed this. It was packed full of mud. So we've got a bit of a better um, line of sight for what's going on up here. It does look a wee bit crusty there. That was obviously the MOT fail point there. And a wee bit more corrosion along there. I think it's going to be a case of, you know, digging back until we get sound metal uh, and hopefully this here is not rusted right the way through or it's going to be a heap of work but we'll give it a good check over and go for there. Right guys, so better or worse than you expected it to be. Got a wee hole that's appeared there, so we need to patch that. And this was a bit that we were aware of, but that's all rusted out as well. So I'll probably cut that out and I'll just make it one big patch right the way along. And that'll be an L-shaped piece. If you can get an angle on that, it'll be an L-shaped piece that comes along there into the sill to secure it. Could be a bit of work there then. Right, so as always, that escalated very quickly. I only have a hand size hole up there now, uh, which shouldn't be too hard to resolve. And we have this section all cut out down here. That actually went pretty well. Just ground down those original spot welds there. And it looks like uh, the floor just goes on top there. Uh, it's like you see a wee L-shaped bit there where it actually then goes down the cell. So it goes on top there, not, not down the cell as such. So yeah, that'll be fine. Next job, get a plate made. Right guys, and there we have our basic repair plate made up. So that should fit nicely up there. So if we get it the right way around, that should fit nicely up there. There'll be a wee bit overlap on these. Uh, these go into the, um, the outer sill and these will go onto the, the inner sill and then we'll just seam well around the rest. Right guys, we're all ready to get this plate welded in. So we've got a bit of weld through primer on these areas. 
uh, where there's going to be the, the, the plate sitting against. Uh, we'll do some plug welds along there and plug welds along here and the rest of it's all cleaned up and ready to go. And this is, this is the plate. It's well through primed on the back. We've got our holes there for our plug welds and I'll take a little bit of shaping uh, once we get it clamped in and started specifically around this area to meet the contour of the floor. Okay hey guys, that's the welding finished. Got to do a wee bit tidying on this plate, that was a wee bit tougher for some reason. Um, but this one worked out a treat. So I'm just going to grind down those welds, clean them up and get a coat of paint on. But yeah, all looks pretty much solid now. But for that one there, I've got to correct. Right, there we have it guys. The finished job. How about that? Well, looks good now, doesn't it? So I've just taken the tops off some of those welds, I haven't gone to town on them, just cleaned them up, wire brushed around there, tidied a wee hole up in there. So what we'll do is we'll get some paint on that next and then some seam sealer and go for there. But yeah, really pleased with that one. So there we have the view with some seam sealer on and some acid etch primer on before it there. So I think that'll be fine once that's had some stone chip over the top. But yeah, it's definitely well sealed in now. Right guys, and there we have the finished article. So it certainly isn't a masterpiece, but what it is, is practical. And that'll not rust. And that was just a spray on under seal that I used on that, but yeah, it's uh, it's sealed it up perfectly. And that'll keep this old car on the road for hopefully another good few years. So I hope you all enjoyed that and found it informative and stay tuned for the next one.